Democracy for me is something that is precious, very precious indeed. It has to do with everyday people and each person being unique, distinctive, having a sanctity and a dignity and being able to raise their voice and shape institutions that guide and regulate their lives. And from the very beginning, I've been a member now for 30 years of Blue Grass Social Civil America. And from the very beginning, it had to do with how I understand democracy, not just when it comes to electoral politics, but in the workplace as well in the culture as well. How can we create a society in which every person, every individual is able to live the life that they have the potential capacity to? And that's a moral question. For me, as a religious person, it's even a spiritual question. But the wonderful thing about DSA, we got a variety of different kinds of perspectives and ideologies, but most importantly, we have significant overlap when it comes to poor and working people and trying to fight for them. And in this Occupy moment, it's even deeper. Because so many of us have been wrestling in the wilderness for a long time. When we, first, when we had the first Democratic Social Scholars Conference here 30 years ago, there was just about 150 of us. Now we got thousands. We said, my God, who would have thought? Well, that's the younger generation. You see, and that's why I like to pay tribute to the new school as somebody from the old school, because the young generation has brought this tremendous energy, tremendous vision, and courage. And there's no other organization I know that has the kind of scope and breadth as Democratic Socialists of America. Now, do I have disagreements with most of my comrades in Democratic Socialists of America? <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> it's true, because we're not just about any kind of dogmatic agreement. I learned from them for 30 years, and I hope they learn a little bit from me. But most importantly, you have an organization that is willing to fight together struggle together. And now that this moment has occurred, we've been growing by leaps and bounds. But we're not just about quantity, not just about the numbers that you have. We don't want a mega organization without mega courage. We don't want a mega organization without mega vision. We don't want a mega organization without a mega analysis. The role role of workers resisting. We're concerned about our gay and lesbian brothers and sisters. It is not a side affair, but it's a matter of humanity. We're concerned about women, not because we're concerned about the sensitivity of the vast majority of human beings who have to be sisters in the world. No, because it's a moral and spiritual question. They're human beings who, want, who ought to have the same potential as anybody else. We're concerned about white supremacy, not because it has played such a fundamental role in America and we can't get around it, but also because morally, spiritually, we are concerned about red, red. We don't have a large number of red folk in the organization. We're just as concerned about them. They don't have to be in the room for us to be fundamentally concerned about them. Black folk, brown folk, yellow folk, absolutely across the board. So we're not perfect for the world. We got some integrity. 30 years ago in, that, in America. <laughs> We've been Democratic Social for 30 years as an organization in America and stronger than ever. We got something to offer. 